Is it really 2022 already? And you told yourself you're gonna eat better. At least I did. Today, we're gonna show you a great way to eat clean and lean with some sea meat. Schwarfish wraps, let's go. Admittedly, I'm not a huge fish fan. Salmon gets really repetitive to me and you know, most fish is kinda eh, whatever, but swordfish is a whole different beast. It's got a really steaky texture without really any off-putting smell or taste, which makes it perfect for the smoker. We've got a few fillets down here that we're simply gonna rub down with some of our Cali Gold, and then we're gonna burn this in our smoker at 250 until the internal tip hits about 145. While that's happening, uh, we'll be bringing out the toppings for our wraps, and we'll just kinda wait for it to get done. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these seasoned. This is our Cali Gold rub. We've had this out for a few minutes just to kind of let it get the temp. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and drop some seasoning on there. Swordfish may be a little hard to find at your local grocer. Um, so you'll usually have to go to like a Whole Foods or if you've got an Amazon Fresh in your neighborhood, you can do that too. Or you can go to a seafood store. They make seafood stores. Make sure you uh, like and subscribe and uh, drop a comment below. Tell me how much you like swordfish or how much you ate it, because I love it and you're not gonna change my opinion. Uh, you'll see shorts of this video on our TikTok as well as our Instagram page. I'm gonna let the seasoning sit for a few minutes. Um, gonna go get my smoker fired up. We're gonna set it to 250. Uh, I'll be back in just a minute. Okay, so our smoker's at temp. I'm gonna go ahead and put these on a baking rack and we're gonna put this in the colder side of our smoker, which is now at 250. Uh, we are running hickory pellets with a mix of some charcoal pellets on our smoker. Um, so we're gonna get these in and we're gonna be checking temp, looking for 145 in turn. And the reason why you wanna use a baking rack on this is it will stick to your, your grates. So this helps it, you know, just stay off of that. And then it's also easier to pick off once it's done. So here we go. So our fish hit temp, uh, so we got that off the smoker, obviously. Uh, now you can really top this with whatever you want, but I'm going for big flavor without a ton of work here, mainly because I had Natalie prep all everything. But what we got here is we got some romaine lettuce. Uh, you can totally go for butter lettuce, but I feel like the romaine stands up a little bit better on this. Uh, we got a diced red onion. Uh, we also got some tomatoes out of our garden that we diced up, uh, and we got some lime and avocado. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do here is get the avos, Sliced up here. Just gonna roll it around your knife rather than slicing through it. Wow. Now you can totally do this with like tortillas or pita bread, but it's a new year. New you, right? Right? That's terrible. I don't know why I wrote that. So we're gonna take our romaine. Uh, we're gonna grab a fork and take off a piece of the fish right here. And again, it's gonna flake off. It's gonna fall off. That's totally fine. Just gonna break it up. Okay. Now let's go ahead and do some. Avocado. We're gonna do some red onion, some diced tomato, and a little bit of hot sauce. You can do this with salsa, your favorite hot sauce, whatever you want to do here. It's going for a bite. That's better than last time for sure. So the swordfish, again, I was like this really rich. It's really fatty for a fish, but. Smoking it just imparts like a ton of just that really nice woodsy part of that smoke flavor that you like. The rub's great. You get a little bit of bark on the outside, but really all the it's all the toppings that really kind of make it, you know, really enjoyable. I'm just gonna finish this. Give me a minute. Again, I hope you guys like this recipe because I really do. One bite. Are you sure? Don't remember to like. Comment and subscribe. We're also on TikTok. I don't, I'm starting to learn how that works. And we're on Instagram. And we're on whatever Facebook is called now. Drop a comment below if you can understand what I'm saying. Until next time, and I hope we have a great 2022. We'll see you.